Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's just a concept. If you know I haven't subscribed to my channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. So guys, I'll be teaching you guys how to design simple makeup flyer. This is our working materials. This is what we'll be making use of in this particular work now. So we have to import it in our working space by copying this. Then move it over to our working place then paste it here you can see this is what we'll be making use of here then the next thing we're gonna do is to put our size by going over here we'll be making use of a5 then this is what we'll be making use of then coming over here to our unit we have to change it to inches yes this is the size of the work we'll be making use of here so what we're gonna do now is that we'll go over to our tools bag and double click on our right angles then let's drop our tools then let's start by for clicking our image inside this our working space by right clicking over here then for click come over here and let's click you can see now so now let's edit our our click yes this is what we'll be making use of okay let's increase it okay okay so let's start by creating our background let's go over to this our tools bar and click on our right angle then draw it over here okay let's make it the shape let's make it the size of this our working space so we're gonna increase it let's fix the page first okay yes like this now so the next thing we're gonna do is now we'll go over to this our choose bar again then click on our color drop drag it down like this okay let's inside the corner by clicking here then come over here and click and left click then let's choose the color we like to work with okay 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 then let's come over here and choose the shape how we may like it to be yeah is in our property bar yes i think it's okay like this so we have to put it in a position we like it to be okay then click Then the next thing we have, then the next thing we're gonna do here now, then the next thing we're gonna do here now is to bring this our image over here. Okay. Hold on. Then you hold the shift button in your desktop and page it up. Let's reduce it a little bit. Okay. let's increase it okay then the next thing we're gonna do now is to come over here in our tools then click on this our right angle and draw a tiny shape like this okay then drop the tools the next thing we're gonna do now is that we left click on this thing and drag this node down here so the next thing we're gonna do now is to rotate this our node now by left clicking and drag it to the shape to the space out you like it to be then right click then hold on your control button in desktop and press the continuously you can see 
You're seeing what is happening. We are creating a new shape. Yes, this is what we want now. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to group it by clicking here. Now you can see. Let's duplicate it in case you may need it in another place. So let's reduce this. Okay. Then keep it aside. Let's bring this one over here. Let's remove this first. Then bring here. Let's place it in the center. Let's increase it again. Then change the color. Which color will be okay? I think. Okay. Then click here by right clicking to remove the outline. Let's increase it a little bit. Okay. 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 This color is okay. I think so. Okay. So what we're going to do now is that we come over to this our tools bar. Then click on our transparent tools. Then click over here to reduce the. Yes, you can see. You can see. We are reducing it. Okay. Okay. Control Z. Okay. Okay. Then let's bitmap. You know, where you can only bitmap is when you want to maybe transparent multiple parts like we are doing now. You can see now. If we still want some transparent other side, we can go back to our bitmap and click. You can see. You can see. Bitmap, convert. Okay. You can see now. We are fainting it. We don't want it to be that too shouty, so we are fainting it. I think it's okay like this. So the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna go over to this our property bar, then click here. No, this is not good. Overlay. Okay, I think this one is okay. I think it's okay like this. Yeah, this is what we want. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring this our image over here, place it at the center. Okay, so let's click on our finish edits. Let's copy this because we're gonna need it outside here. Okay, then let's click on this finish edit. Then let's come over here and press the control V to paste. Okay. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is that, okay, let's bring this over here. But before then, let's put something under here. So we're going to go back to our, our click. By clicking over here, let's click in. You can see, it has already brought us here, back again. So, let's draw this shape over here. Okay, let's put it white shape. Then right click over here to remove the outline. Okay, you're gonna duplicate this by by pressing the control D in your desktop, then change the color to this this okay let's select the color from this by using making use of this our color airdropper okay 
let's come over here okay i think this color is okay let's try this first then come over here and left click okay let's try this and see how it may look like okay let's fence it okay and let's click it okay let's remove this our white first aside then bring this here so that we see what we are doing <coughs> so we're gonna faint it a little bit okay i think this is what we want so we're gonna bring it up okay then bring this our shape down here shift page up on your desktop okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna manipulate this our shape here by converting it to curve then clicking on this our shape to over here then coming over here to click let's click then convert to curve by you can see now we are on our property bar you can see convert to curve then hold the left click and drag up to the shape you may like it to be you can see you drag it up down by left clicking i think this shape is okay 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 let's drop the tools let's reduce this let's shift it a little bit okay let's keep shifting it okay Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to bring this uh, image up. Okay. Okay. shift up okay then this one should be shift up the same thing is applicable here shift up now let's find this this place a little bit so that it will not be showing so what we what so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go over to our tools bar and click on this our transparent then okay okay i think it's okay like this let's drop the tools Let's increase this small. So let's click this. Now you can see. Let's touch this our shape a little bit so that okay, let's be okay. Let's go back to this our edit. Okay, click on this our wall, then our curve and increase it a little bit by left clicking. bringing this one down okay let's click on this finish so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna bring this okay let's 
put six color is it okay okay then let's go here and draw our cycle okay then for click this picture inside it by right clicking you see for click carry it over here and left click you can see so let's edit it so that the picture can cover the image the cycle here so by clicking here then increase it then drag it down i think it's okay like this then the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna click on this finish edit okay let's make the outline wide by going over to this our color and right click okay then bring it over here and reduce it okay let's increase it okay a little bit more okay i think it's okay like this then let's highlight it and group it so that it won't scatter then by going over to this our properties bar and click here group object you can see it then left click you can see the two are now moving together so this is what we want let's reduce it a bit okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that it seems like this our uh, place is small so let's increase it by going back to this our edit then let's shift this up a bit okay then let's bring these two up as well okay i think it's okay like this mm, it's too much so okay let's carry it down small i mean small okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we start by inserting our test here let's break the test apart by pressing or holding the control key in your desktop you can see okay let's let's click then hold on the control key in your body to break this apart sorry let's enter it first before breaking it apart okay then control k okay let's change the color to white mm. i think this color is okay okay let's reduce it we need to shift this our uh, image so that this thing can enter here let's go back to our edit then click here then click on our image and shift it a little bit okay okay now it's okay like this let's go back okay let's reduce this and change it to uppercase by clicking here then let's click here and click to the uppercase okay the same thing is applicable here let's put in the color first okay then come over here let's click 
left click then put on the upper case then okay then reduce the font so the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna choose the font we may like to use here let's reduce this first let's reduce this okay so let's i think this font is okay okay then bring this one over here too i have to put the two in the same size so let's select the size over here this is okay 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 let's change the font let's change the font by going over here area black no okay okay guys we are trying to select the uh guys we are trying to select a better font you can see hope you guys are seeing what i'm doing okay okay i think we try this okay this is still okay okay let's use the same font here then let's make the two to be in the same size by looking over here let's change it to size 16 or increase it a little bit more okay then increase it you can see okay okay Okay. Uh -huh. okay so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we start from so the next thing we're gonna do now is to bring over this here change the color to white Okay, let's face to page. Okay. Let's increase this. Okay. Then enter to break this apart. Control K in your desktop. Then bring this present over here. Change the color. Okay. Let's space it out small. Okay. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do now is that we'll bring this in here. But before that, we need to insert something here. So let's give space or let's give a ruler here so that we can see what we're doing. Then next power click by editing. Let's draw a shape over here. Okay. Let's bring the color of this speed by making use of this our airdrop. <laughs> then let's come over here. Then click on drop here. This is what we're going to use. 
come over here and right click to remove the outline then let's make use of our transparent tool by let's clicking here come over here and fade it okay 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 let's drop the tools okay then finish now let's break this apart ctrl k we still need to break this apart Control K. Then bring this our three days over here. Okay. This week should be here. Okay. Then reduce it. This is June bone. Just should be here. Okay. Then what we're gonna do now is that you have to fix this where it's supposed to be okay this now then let's increase this our tray three weeks now i think this is okay let's change the font okay let's use this one okay let's break this apart then bring this our drone here okay let's look for font that is more attractive let's try scripts okay script Okay. Let's use the same font here too. Okay. Script board. Oh, let's change it to a package first to see how it looks like. Okay. We need to change the font it's not good it's not that beautiful so let's go back to our font let's keep searching let's keep searching okay okay i'm still searching okay okay you're looking for a beautiful font cursive one for that matter okay let's keep searching okay okay what are all these beautiful fonts now? Okay. 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 
let's use this okay this one is not fine let's search for one more time okay let's use this one it's not fine this last time i'm gonna search guys i promise okay We are all these beautiful fonts now. Okay, let's use this one. Since we didn't see the one we are looking for. So okay let's drag it okay it's okay like this so the next thing we're gonna do now is that we need another shape here let's go over here and click here then draw shape here okay let's bring it over here okay Let's increase this. Let's shift it up a bit. No. No with this presence. Let's shift this up. Okay. It's okay like this. So we're gonna go back to our edit and bring and bring back our shape to normal position so let's increase it let's shift it up okay you can see so let's shake I think it's okay like this okay okay so let's bring this our shape over here and reduce it let's give it a red shape i think okay okay so let's 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 right click over here to remove the outline then the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to our effects then choose blow then come over to our fed to reduce it okay you can see i think okay let's reduce it a little bit okay i think it's okay like this let's click okay let's increase this more okay then the next thing is to rotate it okay so what we're gonna do next now is to bring our test over here so okay Let's change it to white color. Okay. And increase it a little bit. Let's break this apart. Control K. Then this promo class, you should put it up here. Bring this one down small. Then bring this one here. Change it to uppercase. okay then next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna change the font character by clicking over here maybe you should use area black 
or impact okay okay let's change the color okay I think this is okay so let's bring this over here then our featuring let's bring it here then page up we need to rotate it a bit I think it's okay like this Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do now is that we start bringing this the words that's supposed to be under this our feature here by clicking over here then change to color which is white increase then increase it okay Then shift it over here and increase it. Bring it down small. Then go over here and bring more of it. Okay. 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 Then bring this one here as well. So we're going to change the color of this one to white as well by left clicking here. Then let's center it. Okay. And increase it to Okay. Let's change the font. Okay. No, this one is not good. Let's look for a very beautiful cursive font. Okay, let's use this. I think this is okay. Then, the same thing is applicable here. Now, let's choose the, the size. Let's choose sixteen. Okay. Let's break this apart. Break this apart as well. Okay. Okay. Shift down. Okay. Let's position it well by shifting. You can see. Let's bring this down small. Bring this down small. Bring this down small. Okay, you can see. I'm just bringing it down. I'm just bringing it down. You can see. Okay. Okay. You can see what I'm doing. Now, let's come over here. Let's put this one here. Put this one here too. And this one here as well. Okay. 
okay so i'm gonna change the color of this to maybe this i think this will work okay. let's change the font color by clicking here then click here let's use that okay let's change the font to area okay let's type area okay area let's use this area board okay this is okay then let's bring this over here okay then bring this one over here as well then we have to change the font to that same area board okay we'll come over here and click area board then reduce it okay let's highlight it and shift it up okay okay i think it's okay like this for now then the next thing we're gonna do is that we'll bring this our next test over here okay let's bring this over here okay okay let's bring it okay the date and the time the venue so let's break this apart and increase it so that we see what we are doing okay okay Let's increase this as well so that you will see what we are doing. Okay. Okay. This is it. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is that we change the font. Okay, let's fix it first. Okay. Let's bring this here and reduce the font. Then choose the font character. Let's use impact. Then change to case. Title case. Okay. Let's change the font character. Let's use area. Okay, and reduce it. You have to break this apart and fix this here. Fix this here. Then bring this one here as well. Then let's align this and reduce it. Let's select this and reduce it. Okay. Let's keep reducing it. Okay. Shift it. Okay. Okay. Let's shift it down some more. I think this is okay. Then the same thing is applicable here. Okay, let's change the font to the same one we set this one by clicking here. Area, yes. So let's reduce it and bring it over here. Then let's draw a line here by clicking here and draw a line like this. Straight line, okay. 
then let's come over here to select how we may like it to be okay now let's increase the size by going over to this property bar and select okay then bring it over here then hold on your shift button in your desktop then let's click and drag let's click and drag then right click so that the two will be equal so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna group select the two like this come over to this our property bar and click on this group objects by left clicking you can see the two are now met together so let's bring it over here okay let's keep reducing this so that we can get space enough okay 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 let's bring it here and reduce it I think it's okay like this then let's bring this over here and shift it okay 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 i think it's okay like this so the next thing we're gonna do is that we import these ones here let's bring it here you can see what i'm doing then this one here let's bring it over here then bring this over here and change the font to this then change this to uppercase by clicking here uppercase okay now you can see and the font needs to be changed as well by going over here then looking for the font let's try area black okay area black let's try area black okay okay then let's reduce it okay i think it's okay like this the size is okay okay then bringing this up here it's okay okay 15 minutes to be in the center okay let's bring this down and okay then the next thing we're gonna do now is to bring this our image here reduce it a little bit okay now bring this one as well you need another cycle by clicking here then draw it like this okay draw the tools and bring it over here I need to reduce the size okay okay let's change the color to okay or this okay this color is okay let's right click here to remove the outline now you can see let's duplicate this okay and reduce it then bring it over here 
and add the color white. Reduce it a little bit. Reduce it. Okay, I think it's okay like this. Bring it over here. Then let's break this our ways apart. Okay. By clicking or pressing Control K. Then bring this over here. And bring this over here. Sorry, you have to shift up by holding the shift up keys. Then you need to do the same thing here. Shift up. The same thing here. Shift up. So let's increase it. Okay. Okay. Increase Then we have to change this to This here uppercase The same thing is applicable here change it to uppercase you can see Okay Now let's increase it Okay, you can see. Okay, so so the next thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna bring this. We're gonna bring this over here. Then reduce it. A little bit reduce it a little bit okay I think it's okay like this okay then we have to go back here and draw a shape like this then bring it over here okay let's reduce it a bit Okay. Okay. Let's duplicate it or hold on your shift button in the desktop. Then let's click and drag it. Then right click. Then we need to reduce the size. Okay. You need to reduce this and let's increase it a bit. No, it's too much. I'm trying to reduce this shape so that you not cover the whole thing. Uh -huh. This is what we need. Okay. So we're gonna delete this. Then hold on your shift key and left click and drag it over here, then right click. Then the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna install the color we may like it to have. Maybe let's use this color. No, 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 no. Okay, let's use this color here then use this one over here okay then let's paste this up by holding the shift button and page up okay shift button and page up then change the color to white Then the same thing is applicable here. Shift up. Okay. 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 
okay so let's send the color to white as well okay then we need to remove the outline by right clicking here then click on the shape and right click over here to remove the shape so let's reduce this let's reduce this okay let's keep on reducing okay i think it's okay like this yeah it's better so let's bring this over here and let's change the color of this to red let's try red I think it's okay like this you can see so the next thing we're gonna do here what is the next thing we're gonna do here let's remove this line okay okay so this is it So this is it. Okay. 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 So guys, this is where we're gonna end in today's video. We're gonna continue next time from where we stopped in our next video. So please do not hesitate to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get my future upload each time I drop it.